What's up everybody, it's your girl Stephanie. Today I have a first impressions get ready with me. I have a bunch of new products that I'm very excited to dive into. Before we get into it though, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. And also, if you haven't already, please make sure to click on that little bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with this brand new primer from Tatcha. It's the Silk Canvas finish filter protective primer. Packaging is very interesting. It's unlike any primer I've really seen. It's pretty much this flattened thing and they also give you this little coin kind of guy and you're supposed to scrape it till you reach this little line that's on the coin there. So there we go, I got that much. I'm going to grab it with my finger. I do wish there was like a place to put this thing, like snap it onto the packaging or something because you kind of have to store them separately or on top of each other like that. Ooh, it is very silky feeling. Very lightly scented Tatcha. Products all smell so good. This is supposed to like fill in the pores and make your skin super smooth before application. It feels like a very silky moisturizer to be honest. Feels good though. I'm also gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. I've just been pretty much doing that one. I got a new bottle of that because the other one was very, very old. Just grab a little bit of that, rub it on the eyes. Okay, let's get into foundation. I'm very excited to try this. This is the Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation as SPF 25. This is supposed to be a medium coverage self-setting foundation, I think that's what they said. But I mean, I'm gonna set it anyways. I got oily skin. I always like to bake and do all that stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I have a little bit on the back of my hand here, and I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender that's dampened. I like that they said medium coverage. I don't really like using full coverage foundation, to be honest, so. A few dots there. There are a bunch of helicopters flying over my house right now. I think they're filming a movie and they're actually really scary looking like military helicopters. <laughs> like I've never seen these kind before, but I saw film crews on like uh, a rooftop over here. So I'm pretty sure it's for a movie. Hopefully it's not just a bunch of military <laughs> helicopters flying around. Anyways, okay, back to this. Oh, this is really pretty. I can already tell, so this is one very short layer on here. The other side, I feel like you can tell it's a little bit mattified and a little bit better color match with my neck because my face is a lot lighter than the rest of my body. This foundation is meant to show your skin underneath, which I like. Apparently it's also good for people with freckles and stuff because it doesn't like make the freckles fade out. That's looking nice. I'm liking the finish. It's uh, not matte, but we'll see how it dries down, especially the first cheek. My nose, a little redness here. I'm really into how this looks just on this own. I feel like my actual skin is coming through, but it really just evened everything out. I feel like it is not like a super, super matte look, but pretty matte. I'll try and let y'all know like in a little blurb down here how this wears because I'm gonna be going to an event later on today. That's why I'm wearing a nice little lazy top. So this needs to look good for a while. <laughs> Let's just move into concealer. I got my regular old NARS concealer right here. I love it. I honestly cannot find a concealer that I like the same at all. So we're just gonna do what I regularly do with this. We got the eyes up here, down the nose, pretty much all in the center area. So we're gonna put my concealer and I'm gonna go ahead and blend. Concealer is on and now it's time to bake. I got my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder here. I'm gonna pick it up with my beauty blender, place it, honestly I place it all over my face. Pretty much fully covering, but underneath my eyes, down my nose, over here. Everything that I just need to set and make sure it doesn't move around because my oils that will seep in later on. 
under my nose, and my forehead. There we go. <laughs> I am so excited that Urban Decay came out with this palette. This is the Naked Petite Heat palette, little mini version of the big guy. Uh, before we get into this though, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on the brows. Brows are on, let's get into this palette here. I feel like there's a really nice set of colors here within this little palette. Let me just swatch them. Here we are all swatched. I think it's just a nice range of colors. We have six colors total. I am very much excited for these three right here. I think I'm gonna be going into this one today, especially because I wanna do a very like orangey eye look. So let's get into it. This color is called Wild Thing. I'm just gonna grab it with a fluffy brush and then go into the corners. I'm trying to just blend it out a bit. I love this like dark orange thing that's going on. A lot of companies are coming out with it. I'm actually gonna be wearing Freckle Fiesta on my lips today. I really wanted to do a color that matches that. And I think this is actually a very good color for Freckle Fiesta. That blends beautifully. There was no question in that at all. I'm just gonna keep on blending away in this corner and then bringing it up and over. That really took no time at all. This blended out so beautifully. I'm gonna grab it on a regular eyeshadow brush now and just pack some onto the middle and over. I'm just bringing it all over the lid and then we're also gonna bring it underneath as well. Top of the eyes are done now, now we're gonna go into the bottom. I just grab a little bit more color here and I'm gonna pat it, maybe drag it. Just try and follow the lash line pretty closely here. And I'm not gonna worry too much about going like all the way in the middle because I think I'm gonna put something else over there. If y'all have watched my videos for a minute though, you know I like to use just like maybe one or two eyeshadows at a time. I'll go ahead and go in with a little fluffy brush that I just wiped off a bunch. Make sure there's not like a bunch of excess on there. And I'm doing that. And that. I am really sorry. The lighting is changing like crazy right now because there's a bunch of clouds out. There's clouds out. There's helicopters. Outside of the house is crazy right now. Now that this is all good, I'm gonna line my waterline and upper with Torch by Urban Decay. This is a 24-7 glide-on eye pencil. It's one of my favorite colors. I use it all the time. Just gonna go in here. It's a really nice match too. It's a little bit brighter than this eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna do that and go above as well a bit. Waterline's all good. Before I put on my mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the face. So I'm gonna wipe off this fake here. Hopefully everything is real locked in, but in case it's not, <laughs> I like to add another layer. And I am trying out the MAC Studio Water Weight Powder Pressed in Medium. Now I have tried this out for a couple days and I do like the look of it. My pressed powder I feel like was a little bit too light. I don't know how I got a little bit tanner on my neck and my body, but my face was looking real ghostly before. So this has these two layers here. I don't really exactly know how you'd be able to like grab one and not the other. I kind of just swirl it around pretty much. It's very powdery though. That's like the one downside I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and press it in. I don't really use a lot of it, but I do like another little layer just to lock in all my hard work. And if I'm gonna be sweating and getting oily later on, it really helps it. For my bronzer and blush, I'm gonna be testing out the MAC Jeremy Scott Cheeky Volume 1 mixtape thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the middle bronzy color with an angle brush. Hopefully I didn't pick up too much there. Okay, I think that's good. And let's just work that in. Ooh, it's kind of staying in one place. I feel like that stayed where it wanted to stay a bit. <laughs> it didn't blend out as well as I wanted it to. Um, Hmm. But I'm gonna go in with the other side now. I think it's okay though. This is definitely not as blendable as other bronzers I have, like the Charlotte Tilbury, which just blends like a dream, the Marc Jacobs one as well. 
Um, but it's fine. I got it to go where I wanted it to go, kind of. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the blush. I'm gonna grab this brush right here. It's kind of hard because they're very close to one another. So I'm gonna pick it up like that. And I like these duo fiber brushes for blush because I feel like it helps blend them out and kind of diffuse the color better. Okay, I actually really do like this color duo. Bronzer is definitely a little bit darker and kind of just like didn't diffuse as much as I wanted to, but the blush is really nice, so. Oh, yeah, I think that'll be okay. It's a night event, right? <laughs> I haven't talked about this highlighter, but I have been using it so much. It's definitely gonna be going in my favorites. This is the Artist Couture Jackie Ina collaboration, their Diamond Glow Powder in La Peach. I have been going crazy over this. It's so, so good. I know a lot of people are in love with this product right now. Jackie Ina did a fantastic job on creating this product. I'm gonna go ahead and boop into it with this little brush right here. I love that there's little sparkles in there. Like there's actual glitter in there. I'm so, so into that look. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, oh my gosh. We are putting that all over there. I don't care if it's a little bit too extreme. And now I'm going into this side. And then we're gonna be going underneath the brow bone. I'm gonna also put it in the inner corners as well of my eyes. Let's just do this right now though. Mop. I just started doing this, putting it on the tip of my nose. I don't really know if it's a cute look, but I just wanna be able to use this more. For my nose bridge, I feel like putting it down doesn't really make any sense to be honest, but definitely on the tip, I will try that out. So we are good like that. And now I'm gonna go in with a smaller one. Maybe we'll do like this kind of brush and go under the brow bone. Just like that. So pretty. And that just blends into the eyeshadow so easily. I always like doing a highlight under the eyebrow because I feel like if your blending wasn't that great that day, a highlight will kind of help blend down into it and make it look a little bit better. So we got that going. Unless of course you're going for a very just bold, no blend look, you can do that too. I'm gonna wet this little brush now with this Fix Plus. This is the coconut one, I think this is new. Just gonna do that, oh, maybe that was too much. Maybe one was enough and I'm gonna go into the lid here. Just pick it up and go into the inner corner. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Yes. This color just goes so beautifully with the orange too. It's really perfect. Okay, now that we have gotten this done, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mascara. Mascara is on. What a difference some mascara does for a look, honestly. I use my two faves. We have the Lancome Seals Booster XL first to make a base for the lashes. And then we have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this. I love the waterproof and the regular formula. I just have the regular one here today. And now it's time to move on to the lips. We got Fenty Freckle Fiesta, my favorite <laughs> lip color lately. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply straight on. I'm honestly shocked by how well these colors are matching up. They're like the same color in lip and eyeshadow form. I wanna wear this look every single day this week. Honestly, I'm in love with it. All right, y'all, that is it. All in all, I feel like I was very impressed by most of the products that I tried out. And I mean, it created this look, so I count this as a success. <laughs> if you like this video and you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, and also remember, to click that little bell to get my notifications. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.